top story, you may be wondering what does the new state budget mean to you? Political reporter Fred Childers has tracked the efforts to come up with a budget and a revenue source to fund it since the first special session back in February. He tells us how we got from there to here. Well, Sunday night's conclusion of the third special session saw two very important bills get final passage. A budget called House Bill 1 and a tax bill called House Bill 10, which helps to avoid the $648 million fiscal cliff. Now, they feature complicated tax codes and fiscal policies that confuse even the lawmakers. But for you, the taxpayer, the governor says it's pretty simple. And now that the fiscal cliff is in the rearview mirror, prosperity and stability are straight ahead. The cost to you, 0.45 of a cent at the cash register, or just under half a penny. That's the magic number lawmakers finally agreed on. They're replacing a fraction of the full penny sales tax that's expiring. It generates about $500 million to help avoid cuts. Tonight, parents and students can go to sleep assured that TOPS will be fully funded and that we're giving them a scholarship to an institution that will be adequately funded as well. And I, I couldn't be more excited, not for our institutions, but for the students we serve and the employers who will, will use their talents in the future. And fears of closed hospitals, nursing home evictions, or an end to the food stamp program have been allayed. While most lawmakers celebrated what they felt was finally a successful session and a compromise they can live with, Governor Edwards says the taxpayer who gets a $600 million tax cut is the real winner. Not me, not the legislature, not Democrats, not Republicans, but the people of Louisiana did win. Now that .45 of a penny tax is less than the full penny you've been paying at the cash register. That's why Governor Edwards says you get a tax cut. But Republicans argued that was supposed to be temporary. Now this tax will also expire, this time in 2025. By then, lawmakers hope to have successfully reformed Louisiana's tax system. For your local election headquarters, I'm Fred Childers. All right, thank you, Fred. Well, the new budget also fully funds the TOPS program for college students for the next seven years, which means more high school graduates will have the opportunity to, to pursue their higher education in the state of Louisiana. The competition from other states, from universities in other states, and especially the public universities in other states, is very real. And potential brain drain to this state is very real. And so having stability associated with TOPS is extremely important. So we are very appreciative and very optimistic as to what may happen going forward thanks to TOPS. Lawmakers were also able to fully fund the Shreveport's Medical School, Southern University, Shreveport, and Grambling State University.